Hi friends, today I am back with one more interesting video. As you can see in the pic, I have transformed this plain book cover into something more beautiful using the decoupage technique. Stick around till the end of the video to see more such projects. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Here's my sketchbook with a plain cover, so let's transform it. First we need gesso. This is artist gesso from Camlin. If you do not have gesso, you can always use white acrylic color. Let's place a newspaper between the pages to protect them from staining. We'll also need some flat and round brushes and some sponge applicators. You can use a normal sponge if you do not have a sponge applicator. Gesso acts as a primer and creates a perfect canvas to work on. So let's apply some gesso using the sponge applicator. Don't use a brush to apply gesso as this will leave breaststroke marks on your project. This is how your book cover will look after the gesso has completely dried. These are some decoupage tissues that I have. These are three ply napkins which means that they have three layers of paper. I'll be using this design for today's project. Now dip your brush in water and begin wetting the tissue around the edge of the design. Gently begin tearing along the wet edge of the tissue. Next, carefully separate the other two layers of the tissue. We'll be using the Mod Podge decoupage glue for sticking the tissue. Always begin applying the decoupage glue from the center. This helps to align the tissue properly. Use another dry flat brush to press down the tissue over the glue. That way you won't have any wrinkle or air bubbles under the tissue. Keep applying the decoupage glue in small portions to stick the tissue properly. After this, apply the decoupage glue all over the design to seal it on your project. This is how it looks after 10-15 minutes when the decoupage glue has completely dried. Next, we are going to color a background to match our design. For the sky, I am using white and dark blue acrylic colors and for the grass, I am using light green chalk paint. If you don't have chalk paints, you can always use acrylic colors. I am now using my sponge applicator to apply the light green color at the bottom of the design. I am mixing the white and the dark blue acrylic colors to get a light blue color for the sky. I am applying this blue color as well to fill up the sky. This is how it looks when the colors have completely dried. Off camera, I have written a beautiful coat to fill the empty space on the cover. I am using my Tombow brush pen to write my coat. 
You can also use a permanent marker if you don't have a brush pen. Leave the ink to dry for at least 5 minutes. We are now going to seal our project using a decoupage varnish. Using a flat brush, apply the varnish all over the book cover. The varnish also gives a glossy shine to your project. And here's our completed project. I just love the way it looks right now. Also take a look at the other two book covers that I made. I hope that this inspires you to try out this technique. Please do let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do subscribe now. See you in my next video. Bye for now.